hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be unboxing something that's been on my wish list for the longest and it's the valentino v logo reversible belt in this review i'll give you the ins and outs of this belt what i like about it how i found my size how to style it things like that so when looking for a belt i did want something that was versatile something that i could style with my everyday wardrobe and this valentino belt was the perfect belt for me so i did buy this belt on the valentino website it does retail for 590 dollars and i got this in the color smoky beige black they do have many different colors that you can choose from but i decided to go with this one because it matches my neutral wardrobe as you can see, it does come with two different colors to hold your belt in place. So it comes in the smoky beige and in the black. And it also comes with five different holes, which I feel like is absolutely perfect. I don't see myself having to add another hole whatsoever. But of course, everyone is different and you might choose to add a hole if you need to, depending on your size. Now, as you can see, the belt buckle is in that Valentino signature logo. And based on the website, it is made with antique brass. So it is pretty lightweight. I've heard it compared to the Gucci belt, which is a little bit heavier. So this is more on the lighter side. Here's the belt in the solid black color which black i mean it just goes with everything that you can think of like having a black belt in your wardrobe is definitely worth it i love the ability to just go ahead and pop off this belt buckle to just give it a more versatile look with the smoky beige you know i do have a lot of neutrals like whites beige browns in my wardrobe so this is absolutely perfect and i love how easy that was to just switch it around now when it comes to sizing, I had my husband do this for me like I'm doing in the video and I sized it based on two things. My waist as you can see which is about a 30 and then I also knew I wanted to be able to bring the belt a little higher so I made sure that I measured that as well. Because there was only about a 3 inch difference between my waist and my midsection, I knew that the belt did have you know a few holes and so it wouldn't be much of a hassle for me to just move the belt up and down from my waist as needed so because my waist was 30 inches and my midsection was about 33 inches based on the website I did go ahead and get a size 75 so again keeping in mind that the belt did have a few holes so I didn't feel the need to make it any bigger or any smaller and I just went ahead and went with what my waist size was and when I received the belt it fit perfectly so definitely take your time when doing your measurements and just refer to the website as i did if you don't follow me on instagram you definitely should i went ahead and i made a reel showing three ways that i would style this belt and here it is So I hope you all really enjoyed this video. I mean, this belt has been on my wish list for the longest and I absolutely do not regret it one bit. This is something I'm going to be wearing again and again and again with almost every outfit. And yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video.